Hello everybody, Hoodie Cobra Commander 788 here and this is a special unboxing video. I received this box from a viewer by the name of Mike Smith. Thank you very much Mike for sending this. I'm going to open it up and see what's inside. Before I open this up, I wanted to mention something. I feel like I've been neglecting the viewers who have sent things to me. Um, I've gotten some really cool stuff lately from several different people, but I have not opened them on camera. Um, and I feel like if you guys are going to send something to me, you deserve to, to be on the show. So um, I think in the future I'm going to try to uh, open anything that I receive on camera and do special unboxing videos like that. So I was thinking what I might do is uh, save everything that is sent to me and do uh, an unboxing video maybe at the end of every month where I open everything that everyone has sent me for that month. I've seen some other channels do this and it seems like a lot of fun. That would not be easy for me though because whenever I get something I just want to open it right away. I get too excited and it's hard for me to not open everything immediately. I went ahead and cut the tape on it and I removed the uh, the paper that had the addresses on it you know just to be on the safe side so uh, we're gonna go ahead and open this up and see what Mike sent. Okay opening it up we have uh, packing material lots of packing popcorn uh, right off the bat some packing popcorn. Uh, we have a note, a note from Mike. Uh, thanks for all the entertainment on the channel. Uh, enjoy seeing the videos every week. Here's some extra stuff I had to help complete those vehicles and some extra parts. Hope to see you at JoeCon 2018. Uh, regards, Mike Smith. Thank you, Mike. I hope to see you at JoeCon. That would be awesome. I hope to see a lot of you guys at JoeCon. Um, of course, as you may know, this is going to be the last JoeCon. So this is the last chance for me to meet a lot of you guys at JoeCon. So I hope a lot of you can be there. So now let's take a look at this. And what I see, first of all, is I see a mini comic. Oh, this is cool. This came with some, uh, I believe, came with some of the figures in the 90s. These little mini comics. If I, I don't want to hurt it, but I want to get it out so I can look at it. Um, it was written by Larry Hama. Um, and it's just a few pages long. I have another one of these for uh, a figure, something, another one that somebody sent to me, um, and really cool. These are really short little stories uh, in these mini comics. Uh, so that's cool. Thank you very much. That's a nice little extra thing, and I, I really like these these little uh, things. Uh, they're kind of little oddities, but um, they were things that were packaged with the figures that uh, kind of made them a little more special. So thank you for that. So we've got that, and let's move some of the popping, uh, packing popcorn and see what else we got in here. I don't want to cover everything up. Let's move that over here. And I've got some stuff that is uh, wrapped in bubble wrap. It is pretty well wrapped, so let's, let's, um, let's slide that out of the way so we can see a little better. Let's open this first and see what we got. And... Okay, we've got some parts for uh, the Dreadnought cycle. I can recognize that stuff right away from the for the Dreadnought cycle. And okay, okay, oh no, this is good. This is good. We have missiles, missiles, and I recognize. Oh, these right here are missiles that I need. Um, that looks like a missile for the um, Sky Patrol Havoc. Um, that looks like a missile for the Slaughter's Marauders Armadillo. And I think these two little ones are for the, um, are those for the uh, Trouble Bubble? The Flight Pod, I'll have to check. I need to make sure about that. But that's awesome. That helps me uh, finish out some incomplete vehicles. Uh, and I'll check to see what these missiles go to as well. So uh, awesome, Mike. Uh, I, you know, it's always frustrating when you have like, an almost complete vehicle but you're missing like one missile and sometimes tracking down that missile can be as difficult as just getting a complete vehicle so uh, that really helps me out um, there is a lot more stuff in here uh, more bubble wrap let me pull this out oh there's that's two different things wrapped in here uh, okay this one's all right all right this one's smaller okay let's pull this one out all right, what's this? This looks like a figure. Looks like a figure. Let's see. Uh, come on now. Oh, it's a Sky Patrol figure. 
Oh, cool. And I'm going to feel terrible because I'm blanking on this character's name right now. Uh, but it's got his parachute pack. Looks like the parachute pack doesn't have the parachute, but uh, that's okay. Uh, it looks otherwise complete. We've got a Sky Patrol figure there. That's awesome. Uh, I am all about the Sky Patrol figures. You know, I've, I've only just started collecting the Sky Patrol sets, uh, and so this will help me very much. Thank you, Mike, for that. Uh, excellent stuff. Uh, now this one is, let's see, um, what should I get? I've got several wrapped things in here, and I don't know which one to take out first. So, um, okay, let's try this one here. Looks like we're almost to the bottom of it. Uh, we've got some bigger stuff. Okay, that is obviously a part for something else. So let's uh, see what else we've got, because I think this is goes to something here. And yeah, okay. Let me make sure I'm not dropping anything in there. Okay. All right. This. All right. We got a vehicle. We have a vehicle. Let's open this up. Yeah. Okay. Where's the edge of it? There it is. There it is. Okay. All right. Okay. What is this? What is this? Oh yeah. Check that out. You know what this is? This is the attack cruiser from 1991 that is really cool i've never actually seen one of these uh up close and in person this goes to it here um and that's awesome you know there is one thing that i am uh very short on and that is 90s vehicles um i still am missing most of them uh, i only have a handful of them and so to get a 90s vehicle is a huge help uh, the attack cruiser, uh, that is awesome. I'll, I will um, look at the instructions and figure out how to put this on later. I think I, I think I figured it out actually. But um, that is awesome. Thank you very much, Mike, um, and thank you to everyone who uh, sends stuff to the channel. Uh, I'm, I'm just uh, very uh, appreciative of everything that you do. Uh, for me and I want you all to make sure that you know how much I appreciate it. So yeah, in the future, um, I think if you're going to send something to the channel, I need to put it in a video. I need to get it in front of the camera uh, and I need to make sure that I thank you uh, for sending it. And I apologize uh, to those that I um, haven't uh, done that for recently, uh, especially considering all the awesome stuff that you've sent to me recently. But in the future, I'm going to fix that. I'm going to make sure that everyone uh, uh, who sends something to the channel uh, gets a moment in the spotlight. All right, I looked it up, and this is Sky Patrol Airwave. I almost said that, but I, was, I wasn't I was sure, so I, I just wanted to make sure that I was uh, giving this guy the right name. Uh, so Airwave from, from Sky Patrol, uh, that's great. Uh, thank you very much, Mike, and uh, I did also figure out how to assemble the attack cruiser. Uh, so great, thank you very much. Uh, and let's do this again. Um, I have been very fortunate uh, to have a lot of generous people watching this channel and send me some really cool stuff. And so in the future, I'm going to uh, save those things and uh, do some unboxing videos so that um, everyone who sends something, um, I can speak to you directly and show everybody uh, what you sent and show you everybody how awesome it is and, and show my appreciation. Uh, so thank you very much, Mike. Um, I will see everybody soon with a full vintage G.I. Joe toy review. I hope you like it. Uh, thanks for everyone for watching. I'll see you next time.